on your number one business radio, Broad Street Radio. The following are the headlines for the news updates this morning, the 11th day of the month of August 2021. We didn't release two senior Boko Haram bomb experts, says Army. Indonesia apologizes to Nigeria after assaulting diplomats. Ohaneze joins Arewa Youths to call for BBN Niger Ban. And in business, investors gain 317.48 billion naira as NSEASI inches up by 1.58% and erases previous day laws. Nigerians paid 15.86 billion naira more VAT in second quarter, says NBS. Flight operations. NCAA withholds TALS license renewal. And in sports, Argentine international Lionel Messi has agreed to join Paris Saint Germain on a two year contract. Good morning. Welcome to the news update from your number one business radio, Broad Street Radio. In association with Automedics Auto Care Limited, Ajao Estate Branch, and Dependable Securities Limited. I am Atusi James Chuku, and here are the news in full. <laughs> Nigerian army has refuted reports that it has released two Boko Haram bomb experts from its custody. In a statement on Tuesday signed by its spokesman, Colonel Onyema Mwachuku, the army noted that the suspected terrorists have not yet been released. Mwachuku added that all surrendered terrorists will be received, processed, and passed on to the relevant agencies of government to further assess uh, for further assessment in line with extant provisions. The Nigerian army, however, advised the general public to disregard the report and continue to support the army in order to rid the country of terrorism and other forms of insecurity. The warring parties within the People's Democratic Party, PDP, which are at one another's throats, over the continued leadership of the party by the embattled national chairman Prince Uche Sekundus has resolved have resolved their disagreements. The groups in resolving the crisis reconciled their differences and agreed to form a formidable formidable force. The chairman of the PDP's Governors Forum, Aminu Tambowal, announced the resolution of the crisis while briefing reporters in Abuja on Tuesday shortly after a two-hour meeting of the party's stakeholders. Those present at the meeting to resolve the PDP crisis include 13 governors, the board of trustees members, Uche Secondus, and representatives of other organs of the party. According to Tambowal, part of the resolutions at the meeting was the bringing forward of the party's national convention from December to October as an overt gesture to placate the group agitating for the immediate removal of secondos. The Indonesian government has apologized over an assault on a Nigerian diplomat office, diplomatic officer by immigration officials on Saturday, August 7th. The Nigeria foreign minister on Tuesday described the incident as unfortunate, adding that Indonesian immigration officials have apologized to the victim. The ministry further said the ambassador of Nigeria to Indonesia has confirmed that the immigration official involved had since come to Nigerian embassy to apologize to the ambassador and the diplomat concerned. The Ohanese Youth Council OYC has called on the Muhammad Buhari led federal government to ban the reality show Big Brother Ninja. Speaking on Tuesday, the national president of the OYC, Comrade Ibuayaka O, 
Ayaka O described the reality show as semi-packaged porn and social monster. He told Daily Post that BB Ninja is affecting families across the nation. According to him, Nigerian youths have lost the sense of societal values and norms and the reality, the reality show won't help. The Kaduna state government has denied giving permission for primary and secondary schools in the state to resume on August 9. This is as the state government emphasized that schools are to remain shut until security operatives give clearance for the safety of the students and teachers following series of attacks on schools by bandits and kidnappers. The state commissioner for education, Dr. Shehu Muhammad, stated this in Kaduna at a joint press conference with the Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Mr. Samuel Arowan. According to him, students, parents, proprietors, and all other stakeholders are to ignore the fake news making rounds that approval has been given for schools in the state to resume for their third term. And now to business news. Equities market closed yesterday on a positive note as NGX ASI appreciated by 1.58% to close at 39,176.62 base points as against a decrease of 0.63% depreciation recorded previously. Its year-to-date YTD returns currently stands at 2.7%. Percent market bread close positive as Airtel Africa led 21 gainers as against 16 top losers, topped by Judy at the end of yesterday's session. An improved performance when compared with the previous outlook. Market turnover closes positive as volume moved up by 143.41 percent as against 16.20 percent uptick recorded in the previous session. VOC Gas, Guarantee, and ETI were the most active to boost the market turnover. VOC Gas and Guarantee top market value list. Airtel Africa leads the list of the active stocks that recorded impressive volume spike at the end of yesterday's session. On Tuesday, the 10th of August 2021, the exchange rate between the Naira and the US dollar closed at 411 Naira 50 copper per dollar at the official investors and exporters' windows. Naira remained stable against the US dollar to close at 411 Naira 50 copper per dollar on Monday, which was the same rate that was recorded the previous day. Also, Naira remained stable at the parallel market to close at 510 Naira per dollar on Tuesday, August 10, 2021, the same rate that it traded the previous day. The local currency maintained stability across the forex markets as the CBN appears determined to reduce the influence of currency traders in the foreign exchange market. The Apex Bank seems to be keeping to its earlier promise as it has increased dollar sales to the deposit money banks by over 200%. Oil prices rebounded from last week's losses as the market seemed to shrug off fears of Chinese lockdowns with demands strength across the Atlantic overshadowing COVID-19 related concerns. Brent crude was up against, um, again later on Tuesday evening by 0.11% to trade at $70.71 to a barrel as the market bounced back with demand recovery. WTI gained more than 3% on Tuesday afternoon leading up to the data release. WTI was up by 0.01% on Tuesday evening to trade at $68.30 um, per barrel. 
natural gas recorded a 0.46% gain in the price to trade at $4,108. Bonnie Light was up by 3.10% to trade at $69.79 per barrel. Nigeria recorded an increase of value added tax VAT revenue to the tune of 15.86 billion naira, jumping from 496.39 billion naira generated in first quarter of 2021 to 512.25 billion naira in second quarter. This is contained in the National Bureau of Stat Statistics (NBS) sectoral distribution of VAT data for second quarter 2021. It said that the 512.25 billion naira generated in the second quarter as against what was generated in the first quarter and 327.20 billion naira generated in the second quarter of 2020 represented a 3.2% increase quarter on quarter and 556.56% increase year on year. The NBS said the manufacturing sector generated the highest amount of VAT with 44.89 billion naira, closely followed by professional service with 29.30 billion naira. Commercial and trading generally gener commercial and trading generated 21.96 billion naira, while textile and garment industry generated the least at 77.74 million naira. Pioneering and pharmaceutical generated 169 million naira and soaps and toiletries generated 188.71 million naira. Agriculture and plantations generated 760.02 million naira. Automobiles and assemblies um, 868.06 million naira. Banks and financial institutions 7.712 billion naira. Breweries, bottling and beverages 3.47 billion naira while building and constructing accounted for 2.78 billion naira the data showed it added that federal ministries and parastatals accounted for 5.22 billion naira hotels and catering 3.24 billion naira local government councils 399.91 million naira mining 8.11 billion naira and state um, ministries and parastatals 18.41 billion naira. The NBS said out of the total amount generated in the second quarter of 2021, 187.43 billion naira was generated as non-import VAT locally, while 207.69 billion naira was generated as non-import VAT for foreign. It added that the balance of 117.13 billion naira was generated as Nigeria Customs Service Import VAT. Data for the report was provided by the Federal Inland Revenue Services FIRS and verified and validated by the NBS. The Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority NCAA says it has withheld tropical Arctic, Arctic logistics tall. TAL's license renewal because it failed to meet its standard and recommended practices. The NCAA's Director General Musa Nuhu disclosed this while speaking with aviation correspondents in Lagos on Monday. The NCAA boss stated this in a reaction to TAL's Chief Operating Officer Femi Adeniji's allegation on AOC's issuance and renewal. Mr. Nuhu stated that despite the allegation, the authority would not compromise the enforcement of SAPs on the issuance and renewal of all AOC. The Director General added that this was one of the main reasons the country had attained FAA IASA Category 1 in the first instance. On the, the non-renewal of Tao's AOC by NCAA, he, uh, he pointed out that the company did not meet the requirements for renewal of the AOC according to the NCAA boss. Tao does not have three out of four key nominated post holders. The Director General explained that the missing key personnel included the Director of Maintenance, Director of Flight Operations and Chief Pilot. 
He explained that the AOC processes were not peculiar to the country as it is an International Civil Aviation Organization, ICOA, AO requirement. And now to sports. The six-time Ballon d'Or winner arrived in Paris on Tuesday afternoon to seal his move to the French club on a deal with on a deal worth 25 million euro per year after tax plus bonuses. Messi had two other options after leaving Barcelona last week, but has opted to move to PSG, who will have the option of extending his stay in the French capital by the third year. This is the news update from your number one business radio, Broad Street Radio. In our association with Automatics Auto Care Limited, Ajao Estate Branch, and Dependable Securities Limited. Before I go, a recap of the major stories. We didn't release two senior Boko Haram bomb experts, says Ami. Indonesia apologizes to Nigeria after assaulting diplomats. Ohaneze joins Arewa Youth to call for BBN Niger ban. And in business, investors gain 317.48 billion naira as NSE ASI inches up by 1.58% and erases previous day loss. Nigerians paid 15.86 billion naira more VAT in second quarter, says NBS. Flight operations, NCAA withhold TAUs. Renewal a license renewal. And in sports, Argentine international Lionel Messi joins Paris Saint Germain on a two year contract. Enjoy the rest of the day. I am Otusi James Tuku, and you are listening to your number one business radio, Broad Street Radio.